Hi guys. Happy spring. If your life is anything like mine right now, um, there's a lot of movement, a lot of moving towards goals, this renewed energy to build and get outside and reconnect with life if you've been kind of hunkering down for the winter. And how exciting is that? And how great is it to have these desires, um, these goals that perpetuate us forward um, towards building a new life or evolving or growing as people? It's such a fantastic thing. I know for me personally, I have been in Portland, Oregon now for about two months and uh, gosh, it's been fantastic. I am overwhelmed by the amount of inspiring people, the kindness, the yoga. There's so much yoga here. And I have quite honestly been going a little bit crazy. Um, my friend jokes that I am drinking from the fire hose, uh, just really running around, doing yoga, meeting people, getting new jobs, you know, learning what I can, taking in the scenes and the food and whatnot. And it has been fantastic. And I am exhausted. <laughs> my body is so spent. Like in the past four weeks, I have gotten sick multiple times the stomach bug with a cold and now I've got this like chronic fatigue sore throat thing that's been going on for weeks that I just cannot seem to to kick um and I'm realizing that a big part of that is because I don't want to stop I want to keep going and, and learning and growing and I'm honestly being a little bit greedy about it um which has got me really thinking about um my mindfulness practice and uh how it's so great that we have things that we want and that we're excited about and that we're moving towards. Um, but how do we balance that with seeing things as they actually are like being clear with what's going on around us. Um, and I realized that this whole concept can kind of transcend into a lot of just different situations from, I don't know, you're really needing a new job or wanting a new job. You have an interview, you really want it to be the right fit, but for whatever reason, it's not. Um, but you really, really want it to be. Um, and so sometimes, you know, we make a decision based on that want as opposed to what it actually is and trusting that life will give us what we need when we need it. Same thing with like, I don't know, dating, right? Like you really, really want to find a partner um, and you're dating people and they're not quite the right fit for you, but you really want a partner. And so maybe you get in get into a closer relationship with someone who maybe isn't the best fit for you. Um, and it really comes back to this whole, like you move forward in something out of desire, but within that being able to trust that what you need will come to you so that you're able to see things as they really are and maybe say no to stuff once in a while when it's not quite the right fit or it's not serving you. Um, and in my personal case, what that means is that me saying no to some activities and having some downtime, um, and just being on my own. And I struggle with this because I want things real bad to be a certain way. And I have a personality that likes to muscle through and push and push. And so one of the ways that I have been assisting myself in being able to see things clearly is through my meditation and my mantra practice. Um, and the mantra or deity that I've really been calling on the energy that I've been calling on lately is Kali. And so I thought that today I would share with you that mantra and a little bit about Kali and see if maybe it can help you as well. If you're wrestling with any similar stuff. So Kali, if you're not familiar, um, again, is from the yoga Hindu, um, lineage. Um, and she is depicted typically as this deity who is the goddess of war or death. Um, sometimes you'll see her holding a severed head, <laughs> like she's not messing around, <laughs> right? And it's said that Kali clearly and succinctly cuts the head off of your ego. And so in the context of this, it would be cutting off the blinders that I put on myself when I don't want to admit a situation is a certain way for whatever reason, for my wanting, for my desire. And that wanting, that clinginess, that is considered the ego in this situation, um, it's really this essence of clarity and succinct movement. And sometimes there or a lot of times there's an intensity to that. Um, it's said jokingly a lot with yogis or people who do a lot of mantra work. You don't call on Kali um, if you're messing around, like 
because the stuff's going to change. Shit's going to shift. <laughs> like That's just how it is. Um, and so there can be an intensity to it. So chanting to the essence of Kali is really finding that clarity, but also reminding yourself that you can handle it. You can handle the clarity, you know, and sometimes I describe it as it feels like, you know, you turn the light switch on in the bathroom or the kitchen and all of the cockroaches are there and you're like, holy shit, like, look at all this stuff. Oh my gosh. Right. And it's really gross and uncomfortable. Um, chanting mantras to Kali helps you to be able to handle that, to go, okay, we got cockroaches. Let's deal with this. Right. Cause you'd rather know and deal with it than just be like, la la la, this isn't happening. Right. Okay. So. Um, the Bija mantra for Kali is Klim. And a Bija mantra is called in Sanskrit, it's a seed sound. So think an acorn, right? It's this little seed. But within it, it contains the entire essence of a tree. So Klim, in this case, which is the Bija mantra for Kali, contains the entire essence of that, of that being, of that energy, of that clarity and succinct, direct movement. So Klim, Klim. K-L-I-M, Klim. And so the mantra today that I will share with you is Om Klim Kali Kai Namaha. Om Klim Kali Kai Namaha. So get a nice tall spine. Heavy hips really rooted down into your seat. And just take a deep breath. Om Klim Kali Kai Namaha 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 So again, this is a mantra that you can do anytime. Silently in your head, in the shower, driving in the car, wherever you need it. Om Klim Kali Kai Namaha. May I see the world clearly for what it is. And may I trust that what I need will come to me when I need it. And may I sit in the knowledge that I can handle the intensities of life. And I can handle whatever shows up. Om Klim Kali Kai Namaha.